And here, this is something subtle. It's something subtle. It, and this is something a trained pathologist would be looking for, the morphology of these neutrophils, the morphology. And I know folks have been waiting for this one. I've seen this answer a couple of times in the chat already as I'm glancing at you all. And you're absolutely right. These are hypersegmented. Now, folks often say hypersegmented. What does that actually mean? Well, remember that the normal neutrophil should have less than six, less than six lobes, right? You can also be hypo uh, segmented, not something you should worry about. But if you see more than six, then you're thinking hypersegmented. And this one we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe a little one here, eight. On this one, we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the one on the right. So we're definitely in the hypersegmented neutrophil. And folks have already been pointing out B12 and folate as uh, the two big culprits. Honestly, if you're going to be tested, that's probably what it's going to be. Keep in mind, though, that there's a few other things, which we'll cover in a moment, that can, um, uh, that can give you hypersegmented neutrophils and that abnormal morphology. Here's one that people sometimes get tripped up about. There's some blood tests that can um, give you a clue as to which one it might be, folate or B12, right? B9 or B12. And that is methylmalonic acid and homocysteine. So if it's folate deficiency, will methylmalonic acid be elevated? Yes or no? Put it in the chat. What do you all think? Lots of no's, right? With folate, it's no. With B12, it is. B12 has high homocysteine, high methylonic acid. Um, uh, and then with uh, folate, you only have the high homocysteine, not the high methylmalonic acid. And um, the differential there is um, really nicely brought out because it's not just folate and B12. There's medications like phenytoin, like methotrexate that can give you a similar morphology. Um, as well as um, alcohol, alcohol abuse. And that's another great point that someone's bringing up in the chat. B12 can have those neurologic manifestations of acute combined degeneration um, associated with, uh, with B12 more so than with folate. 